Milan Alicia here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm not really sure how to start this vlog off, but basically I am moving and I'm on the way to pick up the keys to my new apartment. So come along with me as I do that. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm walking down the street and I'm currently on the way to pick up the keys to my new apartment, which I'm very excited for. But basically in case any of you are wondering, yes, I did end up breaking the lease at my old apartment, but I wasn't penalized. So basically at my old apartment, if you want to break your lease, you just have to find someone to take over your lease. And I did that. I found someone to take over the lease from my room. So I get to get my full security deposit back. And I also do not get any bad or derogatory marks on my credit history or rental history. So that's very good for me. But let me just show you quickly what my new street looks like compared to my old street. Like this street is very beautiful. Look at all of these trees that are on this street. There's so much nature around. My old neighborhood was just concrete. Like it was a concrete jungle literally. But now I'm very happy to be having a street where there's like nature and stuff all around me. I have finally gotten the keys to my new apartment. Let me just show you quickly how beautiful this building is. There's gold accents throughout the main floor, but look at this ceiling. Look at the detail and this ceiling. That is so beautiful. So now that I've got in my keys, I'm gonna just fast forward to move-in day. We're on the way to go pick up this U-Haul truck. Yay! We are excited! So this is a great day, guys. We are so excited to be moving and stuff now. Very excited. Today is moving day. We just picked up the U-Haul truck. Really excited. We're about to, uh, I got this bomber, this bed bug bomber, because you know, New York be nasty sometimes. I'm about to do this bed bug bomber in the back of the U-Haul truck, because I don't want any bed bugs on my stuff. I did get mattress protectors for my mattress and sofa, just in case, but I'm gonna... <laughs> Drive to my old apartment and pick up my furniture. So let's go. It's one of my last times going into my old apartment, but I'm not sad. I'm really excited to be leaving here, to be honest. My first New York City apartment that I'm leaving from. Here's my old room. I'm about to put this mattress pad on my bed and then pack up this stuff. About to load this into the U-Haul. This was my old room in my first ever New York City apartment. It was very small and now it's completely empty. There's floors, the ceiling, you know, gotta make sure it's clean and get that security deposit back. I'm gonna snatch that deposit back real quick. Uh, the view out the window. I really enjoyed living here, but now it's time for my very own space. There's a U-Haul outside waiting for me. The U-Haul only has two seats. So I'm sitting on the floor. There's a wonderful driver here. And then my friend over there who doesn't want to be on camera. We just finished moving everything in and setting up. It's not completely done yet, but let me show you what we did. So now that everything is moved and let me give you a basic tour of my studio apartment. This isn't a full tour. I'll do a full tour in a separate video, but it's just the basic setup that I have as of the first day of living here. So come on in. Okay, so when you first walk into the apartment, I'll just start this way. So come this way. If you walk in this way, there's like a miniature hallway right here and you come back this way. And there is this linen closet that's really empty right now. I'm gonna buy some shelves to stack stuff up in there. But then next to the linen closet is the bathroom, which I am very excited about because I finally have my own bathroom that I don't have to share with any roommates. It's, I mean, it's your basic bathroom or shower, tub, toilet, sink. And then if you come this way, follow me camera. If you come this way, you have little, eating kitchen area it's also basic stove sink fridge then i have my dining table here i have to buy a new chair because my old chairs were damaged at my old apartment but that's the story for another day and if you just like walk towards this side here i'm going to set up my little entertainment area i don't have like a console for that yet but 
everything right there and right there. But then if you come this way, it's the living area. I have these amazing new covers and this nice rug that are, they're both very soft and plush. I'm just very excited about that. And then if you come this way, I have this really big walk-in closet that I sort of sort of set up. I unpacked my clothes and my shoes. I might or organize it a bit differently in the future, but for now, if I have it organized like this, I'm very happy to have this really big closet because my old room had no closet at all. So that's something I'm happy about. I have this nice mirror that my friend Diana gave me. And then uh, you have the little seating area for guests. This is also, this turns into like a bed for when I have guests over, they can sleep on like this sofa bed here from Ikea. But yeah, that's the basic setup of my very own studio apartment that I am just, you guys, I work so hard to get this apartment. It took years, money, sweat, tears, dedication. It was hard, but I knew that I just couldn't live with roommates anymore because after a while, you know, you just want your own space. So I did what I had to do to save that money and get a nice job in my career that allowed me to finally put a roof over my own head. So yeah, this is just the mini studio apartment tour. I'll do a full one soon once everything's like decorated and like hang up pictures and stuff, you know, you know, make it a little cute and fancy, you know. Um, but yeah, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be posting a video soon of my full apartment tour and I'll also be sort of explaining why I left my old apartment, which is a very interesting story. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.